afternoon, good evening, we're alive. We're alive ulit. We're live. And I'm so sorry na po tuloy yung live natin kanina dahil sa mga pangyayaro. Sa mga pangyayaring hindi mga inaasahan. And I have a special guest. Dahil birthday niya ngayon. Mag-guest siya sa today. So, sa intro lang daw. Hindi na. So, happy, happy birthday. Ano mo sabi mo sa birthday mo today? Masaya na. Masaya? Kahit, ano, burger, burger lang yung mga handa natin. Pero, happy ka naman sa ano? Sa cake ni Ate Ivan. Masarap. Ay, hindi pa natin naman. Masug pa kasi kami. So, ayun. And thank you so much. Thank you for joining me sa intro. Sa intro lang talaga. So, ayun guys. Uh, kamusta naman tayo dyan ngayong mga ano, umulan-ulan. Umulan po kasi dito. So, kakatapos ko lang kung ano. Kakatapos na namin kumain. And um, I'm so excited to share with you um, yung our uh, topic for today. And um, our topic for today is uh, Lordship, which is very exciting. Kasi kahapon I discussed about salvation and I'm sure na ano yun, maraming nag-pray nung salvation prayer yesterday. And uh, nakakatawa kasi maraming nakapanood um, even though yung live ko, konti lang yung nanonood. Pero, after naman nun, maraming nakapanood niya. And, I'm just so happy. So, since uh, we talk about salvation, the next topic would be uh, Lordship. Kulit ng anak ko. Ayan. So, uh, Lordship kasi, um, ito yung ano eh, ito yung magiging um, foundation din ng ating uh, pag-build ng faith kay God. And, uh, hindi lang pag accept kay God yung siyempre kailangan natin gawin, kailangan all, uh, also natin na tanggapin na God is um, our Lord. Uh, siya yung new master natin, hindi na yung uh, mga kung ano yung bagay or mga tao yung master natin. And, um, sabi dito, salvation is like two-sided coin. One sided represents Jesus as our Savior and other side represents him as our Lord. So, Jesus as our Savior means we receive eternal life from Him. Jesus uh, as our Lord means following Him as the boss of our lives. Diba? And we do not have an option of receiving Him as a Savior and not as Lord. Salvation begins by acknowledging that Jesus is Lord, confessing Jesus as Lord covers every area of our life. So that includes our thoughts, behavior, behavior, habits, emotions, finances, relationships, academics, well, everything. So dun yun, uh, yung Lordship is, um, lahat ng area ng life natin is, uh, in live up natin kay God. So, we um, have to acknowledge God dun sa maliliit at sa mga laking um, bagay ng buhay natin para maliliit niya talaga tayo dun sa tama at kung saan yung gusto niya para sa atin. And salvation is an all or nothing proposal. It's uh, a package deal, guys. Hindi yung salvation na lang itatanggapin mo, pero hindi hindi mo magiging master si God kasi gusto mo pa rin, master mo pa rin yung sarili mo. Hindi po pwede yun. Um, package siya. So, salvation plus lordship. So, hindi po pwede sasabihin na sige, i-accept ko si God pero ako pa rin yung mga ako pa rin yung uh, masusunod sa life ko. YOLO pa rin ako pero I know naman I have God and dyan lang siya, chill lang siya dyan. Siyempre, hindi po pwede yun, di ba? So, sabi sa Romans 10 verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So that is salvation. But Lordship begins in the heart. Submitting to Christ as Lord is not about following a set of rules and commands. Rather, Lordship is a matter of the heart. It's a decision to follow Jesus in every area of our life, even when it is difficult. When we decide to give our hearts to God and love Him completely, Lordship will begin to show in our lives. So, uh, sabi sa 1 Peter 3 verse 15, But in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. So, Lordship, sabi nga, demands obedience. And that will come in our hearts. So, kapag hindi natin talagang fully accepted si Jesus Christ in our hearts, 
uh, we will really have a hard time obeying God's command. Pero, again, um, hindi naman sinasabi dito na, hey, uh, once you accepted me as your Lord and Savior, tomorrow kailangan angel ka na, wala namang ganun. And again, um, accepting your salvation and uh, going through the Lordship process, it's really easy. It's really not that easy. And wala naman din sinabi si God na, okay, pag uh, in-accept mo ako as uh, your Lord and Savior, um, alam mo yun, um, masarap na yung buhay mo. Well, in fact, mas mahirap siya, pero mas magaan. Uh, I really can't, um, you know, hindi ko siya ganun ma-explain but I know na magdating ng panahon kapag na naramdaman nyo siya na-feel nyo siya, it's a divine intervention talaga na walang kahit na sino yung mga kapag explain or I really can't ano eh, ano talaga yung feeling kung paano siya nag-work uh, sa life ko but that's uh, started when I you know, fully uh, accepted God and just um, lift up everything to Him na hindi ko talaga kaya. Gusto kong bumait, pero hindi ko magawa. So, hindi talaga natin siya magagawa alone. And, um, sabi dito, sa Luke 6, 46, Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And do not do what I say. So, mabigat to. Diba? Napakabigat niya to. Bakit mo ko tinatawag na Lord? Eh, hindi mo naman ginagawa yung gusto ko. Diba? Parang, okay, kinala ko naman si God. May God naman ako. Uh, hindi lang ako sumusunod ngayon para may gada ko. Pero may hinilap kasi yun, di ba? Um, sabi sa Matthew 7 verse 21, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who, do, he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So, hindi lahat ang tumatawag sa kanya is masasave talaga. Um, Marami, maraming um, religious, maraming mga iba't ibang mga tao na tumatawag sa kanya, okay, na kiniklaim na um, si God yung Lord and Savior nila, but um, hindi yun nakita sa life nila, hindi yun um, nagre-reflect, nakita ng mga tao na itong tao na to may God to sa life niya, but then again, um, parang mga ano pa rin um, nakikita pa rin siya as uh, ano um, magulo pa rin yung ano, hindi pa rin nakikita yung righteousness sa kanya although um, sa mga uh, father naman ni God hindi naman talaga tayo perfect eh. meron naman talaga tayong mga um, ano mo yun, mga lapses pa rin we are um, a work in progress but that's not always an ex uh, excuse now we are always working for our best we are working hard to be righteous kasi mahirap naman talaga and God is the only righteous talaga and Lordship is a continuous relationship making Jesus our Lord is not just one time experience we are now in a relationship with God and we need to nurture this connection by knowing Him more through His word and following his ways every day. The more we know him, the more we will obey him. So, sabi sa Colossians 2 verse 6, So then, as you receive Christ, Jesus as Lord, continue to live in him. So, it's a continuous relationship every day. Hindi siya natatapos sa, ano lang, sa pag-accept lang, sa pag-accept lang ng uh, Lordship, but um, it's a continuous process. And, um, again, um, but the Bible is there. We have an access to Bible. Meron tayong um, internet connection. Meron tayong mga churches. Meron tayong mga um, tao na po pwedeng tumulong sa atin. And uh, I can, uh, you know, I wanted to reiterate every day na I'm here to help you guys. Um, I am not a Bible expert. In fact, um, nag-start pa lang ako. One year pa lang akong um, alam mo, nag-follow kay God. But, um, we can do it together, di ba? Kasi sa ginagawa ko nito, kahit pa paano, nakakapag-refresh din sa akin. So, kahit hindi naman um, ako magkaroon ng, uh, alam mo yun, kahit hindi naman, um, 
ang tawag dito, <laughs> kahit hindi naman na siya uh, panoorin na mag-viral or everything, I know naman, um, God is working in your life, di ba? God is um, working with you right now. And I'm just um, someone na ginagamit na ngayon, niya ngayon na mag-share na sa inyo. Hindi ako expert. I wanted to help uh, you guys. And um, I am also just following the command na to share the gospel. And at the same time, uh, pinapractice ko lang din yung yung speaking um, um, gift ko kasi gusto ko na ano, gusto ko rin na magkaroon din naman ng sense yung sinasabi ko and by doing this continuously I know na mag-improve naman ko paano ako mag-share ng words sa inyo and of course again makakatulong din sa akin uh, na makapag-refresh and ayun lang naman and again uh, if you wanted to know more about uh, this faith that I have if you wanted to um really know about uh, really know God deeply we can do it together you can message me anytime so that's it and you have a great day thank you bye bye